And now I'm joined by Sam Smiling Alvi, 33, 14 and 1 as a UFC pro. He's fighting Julian Marquez on April 10th. Uh, two weeks out now. How is the training camp looking for you at the moment? Oh, everything's going great. Feeling feeling wonderful. Uh, weight's coming down like I want it to. Uh, and uh, knock on wood, but no injuries. And at the start of February, I did see that I said, you said in an interview that you had uh, 40 pounds less to cut. But as of the start of February, how is it looking now? How's the weight cut looking? Oh, it's it came down just like I planned to planned on it coming down. Uh, uh, between uh, Lockhart and Leith, and then the UFC dietitians, we we got a good plan, and uh, I, I've got energy. I'm still eating, but my weight's coming down. Um, what was the reasoning behind that move to 185? Because obviously you fought quite a while for in the light heavyweight division. What was the main reason I, behind that move? Because I couldn't win a damn fight at 205. So, so, well, screw it. Go back down where I was winning more. You think the judges will be more in favor of you now and can at a uh, 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 lower weight class? I, uh, you know, at the end of the day, I'm pretty sure every judge just flips a coin to decide who's winning. Uh, so I don't know if me going back down is going to help with their decisions, but uh, I, I think going back down will, will help me not let it go to the judges. And last time out, it was a draw that in your fight against uh, Dion Young. And um, when that fight ended, how confident were you that you'd won the fight? And how surprised when you heard it was a draw? I've now watched the fight like a dozen times. and I won the fight. There's no argument otherwise. Uh, all, all three judges, should, well, two of the three judges should be taken out back and slapped. Uh, I, I, you know, it's, I don't know how a coin can land on the edge, but they found a way to make it happen. And too often now we're seeing like controversial scorecards. It's getting more and more common. Um, what, what do you make of judges in general? Like, what can we do? What, is there anything you can really suggest that needs to be changed so that we can make progress and get fairer? Because it, at times now it's not costing people just their record, record but financial implications as well because they're losing out on a lot of money because of this. Yeah, I, I, there's two things I think they should be able to do. One, they should be able to fire the shitty judges. Uh, problem with that is they would just be firing people every week. They'd run out of judges. So what I think another good idea, and I heard it from Joe Rogan first, so I'd love to take credit, but it's, it's his idea. Uh, just I mean, why, why are there only three judges? There should be five or 10 or 11 or 19. They should just throw a lot of judges in there and take the, the best, you know, the majority of them that way. That way, the bad judges can don't matter anymore then it's entirely the good judges that that uh will we'll, we'll take will decide who's winning and uh julian mark has your opponent uh he was on the way to losing on decision last time out but he had that uh, incredible comeback victory he's your next opponent what do you make of him as an opponent uh he, julian's great he's that miley cyrus guy that, that's how everyone knows him uh, they said, who are you fighting? I said, oh, it's uh, the Miley Cyrus. I said, oh, yeah. Uh, no, he's great. Seems like a good dude. Uh, seems like a fun, fun fella. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Swings hard, for, swings from the hip, and uh, I, I, we're going to put on a hell of a show. I think we're the first fight on the ABC card. So that, that's that's cool. And he's known for being the Miley Cyrus call-out guy. What would you like to be known as? Obviously, you got the smiling nickname. Is that what you want to be known as? The guy that smiles. I, I, I am the guy that smiles. I mean, it's hey, smiley, hey, this, hey, you're the smiling guy. Yeah, that that is me. Uh, but I think even more than that, I'm the guy who likes to fight more than anyone else in the UFC. Uh, I, I've never said no to a fight. I've taken terrible fights in short notice because I say yes. I love my sport. I love what I get to do, and I'm looking forward to doing it here in about oh, two weeks from today. Uh, I saw on Twitter that on TikTok you sent him a message and he replied um, regarding injuries. Uh, he said in a response that he wanted to do a TikTok with you at the weigh-ins. Is that something you'd like to do with him? Oh, I did see he responded to it. I'll have to look into that. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do something on TikTok together. He, he's got a ball and I got a ball and we both have a good time with it. So we'll, we'll, I'll have to talk to him. I'll message him, see, uh, see what he wants to do at weigh-ins. How have you found that experience of being on TikTok? Because you haven't got a lot of followers on this. Obviously, you're quite popular. Yeah, I mean, I'm addicted to TikTok. And for all of you that aren't on it, y'all should get on it. And then follow me. I'm at Smile and Sam. Uh, it is so much fun. There is not a better thing on the planet to do to kill, I don't know, three hours. <laughs>
Uh, do you see this as like a must-win fight for you? Because you've gone five fights without winning now, and last time out, obviously, it looked like you had one, but it didn't go your way. So, oh, yeah, do you, yeah thanks for bringing that up again. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you see this as a must-win fight for you in terms of avoiding getting cut? Because I did see that you, you were surprised that you still had a fight after the Ryan Spann uh, decision. Yeah, you know, I, I felt the judges got the Ryan Spann one wrong, too, so that's two in a row that are I couldn't imagine the UFC keeping me – I mean – if I win because I get poked in the eye, uh, I, I couldn't see him keeping me. If I win a, a decision, it doesn't, I don't see him keeping me. I think this is, I have to go out there. I have to prove I belong in the UFC, prove I am one of the baddest dudes on this planet. And uh, I got to prove that Taylor Swift is better than Miley Cyrus. Is this a case of Miley Cyrus versus Taylor Swift in, in, in your fight? I, yeah, I, I think uh, T Swift was done dirty when, uh, I mean, he didn't even say anything about her. He just went straight for Miley Cyrus. I, I, I can't have that. If you do win, could we see you call out uh, Taylor Swift and Julian Marquez fashion in the post-fight? At this point, I think I'm going to have to. The problem is t- Taylor Swift, I mean, M- Miley is okay, but Taylor Swift, which is like a huge superstar, I'm pretty certain my call would get no response from her. But uh, I, I'll, I'm going to do what I can. <laughs> It's worth a try. And uh, how do you see the fight playing out in, in your eyes? Are you looking for the finish to show that you are, you're truly back? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to submit him in the third round. Uh, it's just what's going to happen. Uh, I, 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 I'm mystic, mystic smiles. And it's a middleweight bout that's headlining the card, uh, Darren Till versus Marvin Vittori. How do you see that one playing out? I'm so excited for that fight. Like, I'm looking in the future of what, what, what's coming up. And that fight, I don't know who wins it. I've trained with Vittori a few times, and he, he's amazing. Uh, I've only a couple times, uh, and he, he's a super nice guy, and you've seen him fight. He's, I don't know who wins it. I'm going to pull for my boy Vittori, but uh, it, that's a really cool fight. The only other fight that I've got kind of the same where I don't know is uh, Anthony Smith versus uh, Jim Crute. I don't, I don't know who's going to win that one. I, I really don't even have a leaning one way or another. And what happens after the fight? Because obviously you're just fighting really early on. Do you have to leave to set the apex, I'm pretty sure. So do you go back to the hotel and just watch the fight say, is that how it works out? Yeah, probably. I, honestly, it's, I, I'll go home and win. You know, with a, with a win, I might just drive home then. Like, I live about four hours away. My wife will be there. Um, they, you know, she, she corners me, so she'll have driven out there. Uh, so I might just I might just drive back then. Or maybe I'll party. I don't know. My kids will be out there too. They won't be at the fight, but they'll be in Vegas. Maybe we'll go out and they, they, love, the, they love the Shark Tank Hotel, whichever one that is. Uh, so maybe we'll go see some sharks after the fight. And how did you find that experience on Fight Island, fighting on Fight Island last time out? Uh, fight Island was a lot of fun. Uh, it, I went at the right time of year. It wasn't 130 degrees. Uh, it, there was nobody on the island but fighters, so it was. It, we I had a real good time out uh, there. Just kind of enjoyed myself and, and my uh, my corners. Well, thank you very much for joining me. I, I wish you all the best, and uh, I hope your weight cut continues to go well. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Coming to the hard part, now I got to go sit in a bath and sauna for hours. Ugh. Hopefully, it'll be all worth it when you get that uh, bonus victory bonus for once. I could use it. It'll be, it'll be a couple thousand. It'd be like a thousand dollars a pound that I've had. I, I could take that. Do you think the victory will be even sweeter considering how the last two have played out in, in your eyes and being uh, screwed over by the judges? Yes. Yes. Uh, victory here is just, oh, it's going to, oh, it's going to be so good. It's going to be just wonderful. I'm going to go home and I'm going to eat and I'm going to not worry about what it costs. It's going to be wonderful. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, I wish you all the best. Hey, thank you very much for having me on, my friend.